Rebounded by Oliver Macklin. In traffic. Lead pass to Ellison for the jam. Ellison runs the floor well. Nice catch and nice finish up. The walk-ons can get the jumper up. Perhaps knock it in. That's a rip. Oh! Oh! oh boy! Just in serve. Like Kyle Chapman. There's Kyle Chapman. This place will go nuts. Kyle Chapman, the senior. Uh oh! Send it in, Kyle! Uh, we could have done that. He works that as hard as anybody. Inside of two minutes to play. Kyle Chapman with a floater, got it. Nice move. With the rebound. Hard get. Kyle Chapman for three. The Hawks knew coming into this game that. What a story there, you can be told about Chapman. Here's Chapman with the alley-oop for Funches. Oh, he's loving this. He's watching at the walk-on. And what is he doing? He's throwing the alley-oop in Division One basketball. Kleber trying to set a screen for Tanella. Tanella keeping the dribble alive. Takes it to the basket. Yes! Oh, yeah. Look at the UConn bench. Loving it. And that's going to do it. Tanella goes for the steal. They root for him to get the steal. He needs to shoot it way up. Oh, oh three seconds ago. But the other the youngster scores. That's Richard Moore. I think the feeling is you win the Big South Conference and get to the NCAA tournament. These are the kind of teams that the ball is tipped up and in. And those are the first career points for walk-on player Justin Ivanovich. And they've got defensive toughness. They're going to need to blend out with the half-court execution. Oh, good finish inside. Ryan Swaller. The NCAA tournament last year because they couldn't play against that style of team. I think Connecticut can play against any style of team. Ryan Swaller joins the scoring parade. UConn basketball and Calhoun able to empty out his bench here in the final couple of minutes of the ball game. Don't want to get into politics, but uh, all got to be on the same team. And there's a basket. And Swaller gets two. Swaller, you would think the walk-ons, when they get the ball, would hoist one, don't you? Well, they're stiff. They've been sitting there all night. That Jason hey. Bice with his first career field goal. Third assist of the year for Ivanovich. And it's tipped up and in by Ryan Swaller. Walk-on Jason Bice. Has checked in for UConn. There's Bice down low. He juggles the pass and lays it in. Power by Jason. His nickname is Animal by the guys on the team. Put some full court press, get some turnovers. Handled well by UConn. And Jason Bice seeing some early game action with Hilton Armstrong, bothered by a sore knee. And how good he's looking. And then Austria played a tremendous game tonight. What happens when they add AJ Price? Johnny Birds counted, and those are the first two points of Johnny Birds' collegiate career. And look, his teammates on the bench absolutely love it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Bird. Get out there on the break and get the finger roll. I like that. We took things day with CBS. So much more to go here on this Saturday. And the basket is cheered by Jim Veronic, the 6'8 senior from Durham, Connecticut. Over near steal, but Jafai comes away with it. Inside, and Stewart gets in the scoring column. And I don't know that anybody was happier than Kemba Walker on yeah. that play. Brendan Allen drives the baseline, and he gets it to go. And a timeout called by Mick Cronin, and he is displeased. Stuck in the mud a little bit defensively, but then played with a lot of activity and energy defensively. Nice feed and Tom Watts, the 6 1 senior out of Brooklyn. The bench loving it. Everybody getting into the act here for Connecticut. Ball and I want you to shoot. Yep, yep. Which hardly seems fair. Linehan. A star is born. <laughs> Post game show coming up here on SNY final 35 seconds. And there is Terrence to Timmy going to the left hand to finish off the window. 
There's the mid-range jump shot, Mike Noyes. 31, Mike Noyes on the floor. And there is Nambi Amilo with his first two points of the season. Three different games. Yeah, why not? Come on. Let's celebrate the history. And how about that? Another one of the walk-ons. We got to find the third guy right Boxing, here. We got to yeah. get him a shot. Got to get there. You get here we go. Boxing, look out! Oh no! The third Power Five conference team UConn has played this year. Uh, Central's played. They also played. As Boxing gets two more on Sunday by 14. All right. Great response for the Huskies. No! And the senior from Granby with the first points of his senior year. They did a great job in the offensive end, kept their turnovers low again, executed well in the offensive end, were able to have nice assisted baskets, got out in transition. A lot of things that they want to do throughout the year, uh, they're able to do throughout the game here tonight. How about that? Five players with double figures, second time this year, UNH the first time, November 24th. And the turnaround is good by Daniel Brocky. And Dan Hurley's program that's been proven. Gary spotting well, he saw a really nice pass by Matt Gary just into the game, brings this XL center crowd to their feet. Guys were injured or out, uh, providing a lift in the competition. There he is. Look at the bench, that is pretty good. He's played in just three games this year. This is his fourth, and he was scoreless prior to that basket. I wish Danny had the mask off right now. I'm... <laughs> this is a real coronation, and here's Hurley with a deflection. And will bring the house down on a perfect non-conference season. Ooh, this program. They run it out, and it's in the hands of the coach's son. How about that? Is that appropriate? Oh, don't you know, just someday he'll be a coach of his own program. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is becoming a family dynasty, if you will. And Dutch, what a year he's had, too. Hurley and the Huskies have their dreams come true. Hurley! Joke looks better than his dad's. <laughs> There's Hurley. They want it. And they got one. <laughs> 